he's on the window! Yo, you saw that? He was picking on the window! No, 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 no. He was watching me through the window. Do never fear the bisexual is here! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Master Lee and welcome! Today I'm not doing a stream, but I got the game that most people want me to play. Which is your boyfriend. And I'm very concerned because that game is a dating simulator, but at the same time it's a creepy ass game. So... I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. I'm very concerned. Because I'm gonna date a stalker and an obsessive person. Anyway, let's jump to the game, shall we? Woo! Alright! I'm actually concerned because the music is already concerning. Jesus. Your boyfriend. Alright. So, let me see. Uh... I want to see the options, though. Okay, nothing matter. <laughs> that almost got me, not gonna lie. That almost got me. I don't even have the volume up. That almost got me. Almost. Your name. What's gonna be my name? Hmm, should I put Master or Sakurai? You know what, I'm gonna put Master. You're gonna fit well. Welcome, master. You two have fun. <laughs> yeah. My life has been chaotic. My family broke out into another fit of drama, so I left the nest, ran straight to the college, and got an apartment and a job. But lately, my job at, at a greasy spoon diner has been unbreakable. Unbre unbearable, sorry. The job doesn't paint the best, so that meant I had to fit the- I had to find a roommate to afford an apartment. And now my roommate- And now my roommate is always bringing some drop out into our department for late night study sections. Ooh, study sections! I like that. My, s my sleep schedule is wrecked. And even better, the rent on an apartment is late. I had, I had, I had heard once that if, uh, if you become a roommate with a friend, you won't stay friends for long. In my case, friendship gets strained th thinner as my friend keeps making excuses why they need me to cover their half of the rent. Thanks to that dead beat, I'm working hard as to lose money to on the rent. I'm nearly broke and getting a second job feels like it, it, it will kill me. And at least in this park, I have some alone time. I've always loved this part of the park. It's untouchable and touched by obnoxious family members and, co uh, and college jerks. The only people who came here are the, gra uh, the ground keepers. They only come by in the morning. Closing my eyes and rub my face of the huff of the tension in my lungs so that I could calm down. Enough to enjoy the peace and quiet. Just then I feel someone sitting down beside me. Startled, I turn to look towards the interloper. Hey! Oh, hey, take it easy, it's just me. Oh, he talks! I thought- wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He, he talks, actually. I didn't expect him for talking. I didn't know he'd talk. I'm actually concerned right now. The stranger says, trying to keep me from leaping too high off the park bench. You're a jumpy one, aren't you? Why do you care? He smiles and scoots himself closer to me, shyly and awkwardly. Yeah, don't do that. I keep my eyes on him, unsure what his intentions are. <laughs> his unblinking eyes don't stray from mine. Not once. So, are you waiting for a family member or a friend? None. 
I'm not, I'm not waiting. I'm just, you know, what am I waiting? So what? Just seems kind of odd for you to be sitting out here, all alone like this, and so far away from the jogging track. That doesn't concern you. Chills run down my spine. I cross, I cross my arm over my chest and slide myself away from him, and closer to the edge of the bench. How often does the sane person walk, <laughs> a sane person walk up to you out of, out of the blue and start asking such questions? Yeah. Who? Who? Fucking creeper. Not often. For me, at least. He picks up my unease and refrains from the sliding any closer. He crosses his fingers in between his legs and he smiles warmly. Oh, he doesn't speak now? Uh, okay, I, I guess I have to speak with him. Uh, I mean, you don't like... You don't like a groundkeeper or... All of the old... Old people feeding pigeons after uh, doing the Tai Chi. Oh, I'm talking now. Oh, shit. <clears throat> no, I'm just uh, getting some alone time to myself. Things have been pretty intense lately. He scoots himself even closer. His hand nearly touches mine as he smiles shyly. L look, I know this is sudden. Very sudden. But if you're free tonight... Can I have the pleasure in taking you out to dinner? That is very fast, but like he said, it, it was suddenly. So. Can I have the pleasure? Never mind, he was a weird one. Yeah. I can't tell if he's been awkward or just eccentric. What? Why? Why did he... Why did he have such an interest in me? Well, I'm your boyfriend. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a stranger. What are you talking about? That's not your name. This is not... Uh, this is not Fr Friday Night of Freddy. Friday Night of... Oh my god. This is not Friday Night Funkin'. You're not boyfriend. You don't even have a cat. You don't even have a blow hair. You don't beep. Bro. Isn't that why you're here? No. I already told you why I'm here. To have some free time alone. What part of alone you don't understand, boy? My boyfriend? Why could he be assuming we're in a relationship? There is an awkward silence as the stranger sits patiently waiting for my answer. Ah, uh, 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 dinner, uh, uh, should I, uh, uh, wait, uh, 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 okay, I'm just, I don't know what to say. The discomfort, the discomfort silent L only grows, still unsure and confused by the situation. I couldn't find words. It was just so sudden. He seemed to take a hint and pulls his hand away from mine. Looking away, he chuckles awkwardly. Why is he not talking? Uh, hey, <laughs> I, I get it. If you don't want to, to want me to be your boyfriend, I just thought. I'd take the chance to ask you out. Is he guilt tripping me? Is he doing the terrible he's doing a terrible job, but at least he's taking a hint rather than pushing it. Well, it's just that I don't even know you, so don't worry, I get it. He says not all He says not all expressing disappoint not all express disappointing, but he but more along the lines of showing understanding. I suppose I'd be a little weirded out too if some random stranger came up to me and asked me out on a date. Yeah, don't do that. Flatter, but I still a little unease. Easy, taking a re rejecting well, no tension or pressure or so. Thank God. I'd be gonna get going then. It was nice talking to you though. He says looking back over to me and give me a smile before <laughs> getting himself off the bench and taking his leave. Bye! I watch him walk off, feeling a sort of a terrible from now things and in that way they did. Maybe I apologize to him if I if I ever see him again. I stay in the park a little a little while longer after that odd event. 
I didn't know if I should go after him or just shake it off and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Being mindful that some still have their thorns, I reach out to pick one. I feel a hand brush against mine. I pull my hand away quickly and glance at the person that I didn't that I didn't see on the other side of the display. Oh, fancy seeing you here. That actually freaking scared the shit out of me. God damn. Just knowing that someone touches your hand while you're picking a flower and he touches your hand like, oh, nice to see you here. Hmm. You come here often? <laughs> to the flower shop? The man from the park beans upon seeing me and gives me a smile before pulling the rose out. He's grabbing that rose like the rose doesn't, doesn't, you know, he has thorns, so th he's speaking like, yeah, I'm a, a little psycho, so I'm grabbing the rose like this. Not feeling the pain! I didn't know you shop here, too. I, I, I don't! I say, I say, startled by his presence. The man then gestures to me with his finger over his lip. Oh, shh. It's a small shop. There's no need to raise your voice. His comment robs me the wrong way, but I try to compose myself. Did you follow me here? I whisper hardly. Oh, did you actually follow me here? I whisper harshly, unsure if crossing paths with him again was pure coincidence or if I needed to worry about him after all. What? Of course not. He looks a little hurt by my accusation. I came here almost every day, you know. Was I really being a d to him? He fumbles around with a rose in his hand, and his eyes stay shyly focused on the ground. I love the flowers. This this little shop is the only only one nearby, so I came here a lot to see what new bouquet bouquets bouquet bouquets they they have made. And if they had any on sale, I'll admit that sometimes I get a uh, get a glimpse of you through the windows of the diner that you wa work at. And lately, I've been meaning to walk in and finally to say hey, but but I lose my nerves and stay out. I guess that's not. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna try to be friends with him. Maybe I am I overreacting? I guess that's understandable. It's not understandable! I know you have no interest in me, and I get that, but can I at least see you again? Not on a date or anything, just to hang out. I feel as a thought we got, out, got off to a bad start. Why? I don't even know your name. My name? It's a joke, really. I must prefer if you made a nickname for me. What's your name, then? What is his name? The smile on his face fades into a slight grim before his gaze drifts off the side. Okay. I really don't like my name, honestly. I'd rather be called any something else, like a nickname or something. He must have a really horrible name, or really horrible parents that <laughs> wants to dis dissociate. <laughs> Taking this moment, I figured that there was no real harm in giving a nickname for him. After all, it could be easy for me to remember. Well, what about... I'm gonna call you... What am I gonna call you? I'm gonna call you my name, but in a male version. Leo. How about Leo? He seems pleased with that with what I came up. Despite how silly or tacky it might have been. Yeah, that sounds much better, honestly. Thank you. 
I look outside of the window and see that the sun is getting low in the in the sky. Well, it's getting dark. I I I have better I had I had better. It should be like I better get going, not had better. I I, I don't get any English. I better get going home. It was nice to see you, Leo. I turn to leave the shop. Hey, hey, wait. Leo calls out to me. I turn to see him smiling. She, sheep she's. Um, can I at least walk you home? Uh, I suppose. He tries to keep a cool composure as I accept his uh, offer. But I can see in his eyes that he is struggling not to bounce all over the pl all over the walls. You only you only you only walk someone to the apartment like down, not there. That's literally the door. You don't do that. What kind of person does that? Though the walking is surprisingly nice and the two of us got back and forth in a conversation. Leo surprised surprisingly did the most of the talking. He kept going about his job as a product tester or oh, no, I don't like that. And how most of the products were a cheap junk. Once we arrived to my apartment, Leo looks down to me and tucks his hand into his pockets. Well, home sweet home. He grins shyly. He's we stand in the hallway. Hallway. We stand in the hallway, neither of us knowing exactly what to say next. Awkward. I starting hearing faint sounds of my roommate and their study partner messing around inside. Leo hears them too, and uh, <laughs> you're with this awkward guy and hear that and you'll be like, yeah, this is what I go through every day. Yeah, I don't like it either. It's it's awkward. It's awkward. Leo hears them too. And his eyes get a bit wide. I cringe over the sounds and the mental image of the two on the kitchen counter. Top flashes in my mind. Leo was avoiding eye contact and his cheeks were getting flushed. He was imagined the same thing too. I never felt so embarrassed. More or less, I met her as attending to open the door in front of him. As attending my reluctance to go inside from both Promise's roommate and my insecurity of having total stranger outside of my apartment, he stepped away to give me a little space. Um well, I better get going then. When did you... When did you want to meet up? I mean, when you when you get the time. I think for a minute. Sheep. I work all day this week. Not even a single day off to my name. Uh, I don't know. Tomorrow is a slow day since it's Sunday. So you can come over if you like. It's, it's that small mom and pop diner by the record store mm. having me pose as a customer to expand your break time the videos those hey 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 ho ho sharp teeth huh you got there buddy Woo. i like it it flashes a rain smile should be a worry smile rain smile anyway before turning and walk down the hall. I'll be there. I'll be there around the noon then. He looks over his shoulder, smile, waves the... Uh, fuck me. He looks... He looks over his shoulder, smiles and waves at his... Sunturns further down of the hallway. Towards the exit. Bye. Bye. That's a nice apartment, actually. Everything was quiet in my apartment, except for the roaming sound of my roommate's study partner in the kitchen. 
Can I actually hear it? Let me see. Wait, hold on. Let me see. No, I don't hear anything. I shoot my eyes and walk pa and walk past. They have the habit of walking around naked after their study sections. And I don't even want to see if they were dressed the same. Why in the kitchen? Yo, what kind of wallpaper is that? I don't I don't bother to turn the lights in my room. I flop down on my bed, face the f face first into the mattress and the limbs spread out like a star. Letting out a loud and long groan like <laughs> roll to my back and stared up the ceiling. Can you actually see the ceiling? It was it was a rather eventual event eventual day. I got a little quiet time and I even made a new acquaintance. Despise how we got off on the wrong foot at first. Too tired to get up and find a vase or a glass for the rose. I rested on my nightstand. I don't bother getting undressed. I pull the blankets all over me and roll over. I let myself drift off to sleep. Oh, he's on a window! Yo, you saw that? He was picking on the window! Nah, 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 nah. He was watching me through the window! I guess there's different ways to play this game, but then again, um, it's just one day. I think every chapter is a day. I'm not sure how this is, uh, I really actually enjoy that, even though it was kind of creepy. I don't like stalkers, I don't like creepy people. It's terrifying, actually. If you think about it, why people creep on others? Some people do it without even, n even realizing they're creeping on other people. So it's like, yeah, I've been watching you. You've been what? Yeah, I've been, you know, stalking you. You've been what? For what? I don't know, I think I just have this obsession with you. Bro, that's not healthy. You need to get a doctor. So yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe and like if you want more of this kind of content. I mean, I play, I draw, I do cosplay, I do everything, I do live streams, I do this, I do that. I do Orime. I mean Dorime. I'm no Dorime. But anyways, guys, I'll see you now on the next video or stream. I love you all. Stay cool. Bye!